Hi, this is Mark Siderfield with APRO Tool and Equipment Distributors for Albus Connect Computerized Digital Measuring System. And we're here today at Robert Morgan Technical Community College installing and training their system. And we'd like to show you some of the benefits and what this system can We'd do. We'd like to show you what's in the system, what each one of these components function is as far as the measuring and so you'll kind of know what you're getting. You get a complete system that's capable of doing frame, full frame, unibody, upper body, and under hood measuring. And this is the setup to make the uh, quick check. You insert the height rod. There's a series of many different ones here you can select from. On the other end, you would insert the data rod, which is the one that has the numbers. Attach your pointer, attach your magnetic attachment for the measuring tram. And now this is also done without computer or data. Power up. You can measure from any point to any point and find out in about a minute if you have any damage present. From our zero point, we attach our measuring arm. We have our datum set. At 149, we move forward to our measuring point. You see that we're 1705. We hit the save button and that transfers our number to the computer. While holding on your calibration point, you turn the level around where you get to the adjusting wheel. Once you've gotten to your point, you would simply hit the power button one time Move to the opposite side, same point, symmetrical, and register, and you will hit the save and register that measurement as well. First step in the procedure is to make the connection between your measuring arm and your computer for the Bluetooth, so you power on, over to Bluetooth, save, in one minute or less, this banner will disappear, which indicates that the connection has been made for the transfer of data. Attach your magnet to the point you selected for your zero. When you collapse, you will be 900 millimeters from this point to the attachment point. Extend your tram out, and this is supposed to be 1275, so we show one mil over what the factory shows us. Now we have measured, we have recorded, saved our reports. We also have the old school type charts. If you need this, they are available in there. The program has upper body numbers. You've got your under hoods. You've got your door openings, you've got your windows, you've got every number that you'll need to make repair on this vehicle. Once all your numbers have been registered in the computer, you go to save this chart, you go to print, save report, verify your save. Now your report is saved in this computer, it's under imports. So that will be your before and you'll have the same thing in the after repair column once we get through. First step in the procedure is to make the connection between your measuring arm and your computer for the Bluetooth. So you power on, over to Bluetooth, save. In one minute or less, this banner will disappear, which indicates that the connection has been made for the transfer of data. The next step in the procedure is to go to new order. We'll call this uh, training. At this point, you would normally fill out all your customer information, your RO number, or any information that you might need on there. Go down to new car, bottom right hand corner. That takes you to your database. At this point, you would select the Make, which is Chevrolet. 
Now we are at Chevrolet USA. We are working on a Camaro. So you can scroll or you can type in Camaro. And it will isolate just that vehicle. We have got a 97 Coupe. So 94 to 97, we select that and confirm our selection. At this point, you've got your, you populated your fields on what you're working on here. Go to before measure or before repair, go over to measure. This is the factory points that the factory gives you to work with or to, to measure from. You need to first select a zero or a starting point. In this case, we'll select number 22. This shows a drawing, the newer versions of newer vehicles will show you an actual image. Once you have selected your zero point, you go to proceed. If your engine is in or out, you make that selection. You select the magnetic attachment that you're going to use, which in this case will be A. Confirm that. Select the height rod that you need, which in this case we'll use A. And these can be changed very easily. At this point, you need to calibrate for unlevelness of the vehicle to actually measure datum. So we will calibrate on point 30. It's going to show you the uh, another drawing of where you're measuring to. Going to proceed. It tells us that our length should be 1275 and our height should be 338.